By the way, I was looking through your Instagram, and I saw that you went on a safari. Uh, where did you go on safari? Everywhere. We went too many places. It was a trip. My brother passed away uh, a year ago, and he had promised this trip for his son when he turned 16 the next year. So I went with his the mom. Oh, the, that's, that's, that's and nice. Mutai. And so it, it was bittersweet, and we covered a lot of... She set up a great trip. And uh, you went on a safari, too. I, right? I did go on a safari, yes. And uh, I went to the Kruger National things. Park. I took my kids there, yeah. I went there with my son uh, when he was eight, because I always planned to have like a nice little trip when the kids turned eight, just me and him. And after two days, he said, so is this it? It's just us? <laughs> Are we going to go see those animals again? What, what? That's kind of how I felt, to be honest with you. I feel like, because sometimes people ask me if they're planning to go to safari, and they're like, how long should I stay, whatever. I feel like three and a half days is a good amount, because at a certain point, you start seeing the same animals over and over again. And it's like you realize, like, it's like this is like their work day. You're like, hey, what's going on, you know? And then there's the moment where, you know, some leopard or something takes down the baby gazelle. And it's like a snuff film. You're suddenly in the middle of this horrible moment. The mother's on the hill, and you're just like, I know it's the circle of life, but this is awful. Yeah, this you is know? not the circle I necessarily. Like, no. Yeah. And also, the kids are so used to seeing animals that they're like, oh, yeah, you just took that up in the tree. OK, what's, what else now? Yeah, you know? I was like one of the kids. That's how yeah. I was. But how about when they snort outside your tent or your little, you can hear them like the hippos right there. I was terrified the whole time because I didn't feel the tent was sturdy enough to protect me from the animals. It wasn't. And they gave me a warning before, they were like, do not leave your door unlocked because the monkeys will open the door and they'll come in, they'll raid your mini bar and they'll take everything. <laughs> uh, this is not a joke, by the way. And there's, uh, that's really, for me, that's, that just ruins the trip because I was worried about monkeys and my wife left the door unlocked and then I got angry and then she got mad at me yeah, for Yeah, there are mad. gangs. In Bali, there are gangs. They're like, it's like 42nd Street used to be in the 70s. You Tell know? me about that. They just, they, they take your glasses, they take your purse, they, you know. What do they need like glasses for? for? They probably sell them somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. They barter them somewhere. But they, there are certain areas where that's the deal. And you laugh and think it's so cute until they mug you. Have you been mugged by a, a monkey no, gang? No, I'm from New York. I knew how to watch out for myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then the... <laughs> Then the other thing they said is keep the doors locked because, uh, I think this was in Cape Town, because if you stop the car, th if there's any kind of anything, they'll get in, and then there'll be a, a baboon or whatever in the car with you. There are rules. And there they'll go wild on you. Yeah, there are rules. We, uh, yeah, you have to watch out what for What a commercial this is for a uh, safari in it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we almost went right up the ass of an elephant in the middle of the night. <laughs> And we were coming around the corner. There was a complete drop off. There's obviously no street lights. It's dark, dark, dark. And all of a sudden, there was the butt of this elephant. <laughs> and our driver got scared, which made me frightened. That yeah. was the one time, because then he was like, do you stay still or do you back up? Or do you, you know, you could see his thought process. And we were saying, back the <laughs> up. Yeah. yeah, back up. You know, gonna... Get, let him go somewhere. Don't <laughs> st stay here. No, we don't want to do So that was the one time it got a little scary. I, except I have one kid that sleep, at that time was a sleepwalker. So when I took oh, my Oh, no. Kids, yeah. He so went I, out into the jungle? No, I, had to, I oh. had to sleep with him. But I was always like one eye open because you're worried he's going to get up and walk around. I would have roped, uh, I would have put a lasso around my son. <laughs> and just tied him to some of the furniture he or was something. just slightly too old for that. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, You're that never was... too old to get tied to furniture. <laughs> uh, you, you should know that, Susan. I think I did that movie. Did I do that movie? I think I... Bull Durham, I did. It, yeah, I that's did. right. I exactly. Up. That's, that's right. That's <laughs> do you love clicking buttons and subscribing to things? Then click the button to subscribe to my channel, and you'll finally be happy.